Do you know which industry is important to Europe? That's right, it's grape cultivation. A massive industry with billions of grapes harvested every year, providing abundant resources for wine, juice, and a variety of foods. Endless green vineyards stretch across the fertile lands of Italy, Spain, and France, the three largest grape-producing countries in Europe. According to 2021 statistics, Italy is the largest grape-producing country in Europe with an output of approximately 1.2 million tons per year. Spain and France follow, with yields of around 1 million tons and 800,000 tons per year respectively. Europe's total grape production exceeds 3 million tons annually, meeting both domestic demand and export needs. The planting density in European vineyards is typically around 600 grapevines per acre. This setup optimizes planting space, ensuring the vines are arranged for easy care and efficient harvesting. The grape growing process begins in early spring with thorough soil preparation. The seedlings are pruned and dipped in probiotics to encourage bud growth, boosting their resilience and growth potential. Before being planted in the fields, the seedlings undergo careful selection to ensure the highest quality. Vineyards are arranged in straight rows, making it easier and more efficient to care for and harvest the grapes with modern machinery, which ultimately enhances both grape yield and quality. Each grapevine requires three to four years to produce its first harvest, with yields increasing as the plant matures. In smaller grape growing regions, harvesting is often done manually, with tens of thousands of workers involved each season. For instance, in Italy and France, Around 55,000 workers are hired annually to help with grape harvesting during the peak season. Once harvested, grapes are utilized across various industries. Most grapes are used for wine production, a signature product with high economic value in Europe.
Europe is the world's largest region for grape production and consumption, particularly in wine production. The European wine industry contributes tens of billions of USD to the GDP of countries like France, Italy, and Spain, with renowned brands such as Champagne, Chianti, Bordeaux, and Rioja. The total export value of wine from these countries exceeds 20 billion USD annually. In addition, grapes are processed into grape juice, a popular and nutritious beverage. Fresh grapes can also be exported to many countries worldwide, boosting international trade and enhancing the economic value of the grape growing industry. The benefits of grapes are diverse. Grapes are rich in antioxidants, vitamins C and K, and compounds that support heart health and the immune system. Regularly eating grapes helps improve health, slow the aging process, and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Raisins, a popular form of processed grapes, are used in baked goods and granola and are an essential ingredient in many traditional European dishes. Grapes are also commonly added to salads, enhancing both flavor and color. With its nutritional benefits, economic value, and significant export potential, grape cultivation plays a crucial role in European agriculture. This industry provides employment for thousands of workers and serves as a primary source of raw materials for globally renowned wine and grape juice production. Cultivation usually takes place at the beginning of the year when spring arrives. 
farmers have selected standard pineapple trees to produce the best seedlings. Pineapple can be grown by hand or by machine, but growing by machine saves time and labor for workers. Planting rows are shaded to help the soil retain moisture for long periods of time in dry weather. After about two weeks, the pineapple trees started to grow, and the locals started spraying the first batch of pesticides and fertilizers while tending the trees. Fertilizing pineapple plants is not a simple task because the thorns on the leaves can injure the farmer at any time. Seasons like these require a large number of workers, and since 1996, up to 3,600 workers are tending pineapple fields in Mexico covering an area of up to 23,000 hectares. Tilling is also very important in farming as it helps to loosen and clear the soil for the cultivation of crops. Finally, after about three months of taking care of pineapple plants, it's time to harvest. Before harvesting, local people use a refractometer to check if the sweetness is up to standard. Pineapple harvest season has also begun. Millions of pineapples will be hand-picked. With this output, the United States is one of the largest importers from Costa Rica, Mexico, and Honduras. The average American consumes about eight pineapples per year. This is what happens at a pineapple processing plant to package and process pineapples into different products like canned pineapple, dried pineapple, and pineapple juice. Pineapple peel, peel, and wash thoroughly to remove dirt. Next, let's visit another factory. As with the previous steps, pineapples are soaked and washed before being transferred to the production line for canning. If you don't like to eat dried or canned pineapple, this is the pineapple juice production line. Standard 3 and 4 pineapples will be cleaned again before being put into the juicer. There are other ways. You can eat peeled fresh pineapple for sale in residential areas, amusement parks, markets, These two tools help you peel pineapple at home quickly. Next is the compositor. It can take on every roll from cutting to ironing to pieces. Isn't that great? Here we invite you to visit the new pineapple juice factory put into operation. Engineers and workers are testing and experiencing the latest pineapple juice production process.